Hi guys, this is math six, lesson five dash nine, ratio reasoning, convert metric units. So last time we learned how to convert customary units and those were mainly used in the States. But today we're gonna learn how to convert metric units and you will be more familiar with that. So in this lesson, we'll be able to use unit rates to convert metric measurements. Solve and discuss it. Sam needs to fill a five liter water jug for his team. If Sam uses the water bottle to fill the jug, how many times does he need to fill the water bottle to fill the jug? Okay, so they want us to figure out um, how many water bottle would fill the water jug over here. Okay, he needs to fill a five liter water jug, but the water bottle would only be 250 milliliters. So you need to know the measurements between milliliters and liters. Does anybody know? Okay, the important information here is that thousand milliliter would be equivalent to one liter. Okay. Um, the good thing about metric units would be usually in uh, in terms of tens, powers of ten. So it's gonna be easier to remember. But you just have to know: is it a thousand or is it ten? Is it hundred times bigger? But you'll get us to it. Okay. So how many millimeters are in five liters would be the main idea. So you want to start with, if you can start, uh, you can start with either way. Oh, look, it's your birthday. Okay. <laughs> I'm recording this on my birthday. Okay, anyway, um, and I'm happy to. Okay, um, so <laughs> you can start with five liter or you can start with um, milliliters, but I'm going to show you how to start with five liters because I want to. Okay, five liters times your conversion unit, one liter, thousand milliliter, that's equal to milliliter, right? Because your liters are gonna cancel out, five times a thousand, uh, thousand would be 5,000 milliliters. So um, you need 5,000 milliliters to fill up the whole water jug, but you still don't know how many times he needs to fill the water bottle to fill the jug. So how many 250 milliliters would go in 5,000 is, is the next question, right? So then you want to divide 5,000 by 250 in order to get how many 250 go into 5,000. And that's going to be What? 500 divided by 25 would be 20 millimeters. What, wait, that's millimeter divided by millimeter, millimeter, so they cancel out. So you don't even have a millimeter. Because that makes sense because we're talking about how many times you don't need a milliliter, right? So he needs to fill the water bottle 20 times. That is your answer. 20 times, right? So you have a metric units of capacity here. See, everything is in um, digits of one and zero. It's uh, comparably very easy to um, remember rather than remembering all the different digits. That's fine. Focus on math practices. Um, how many liters of water does Sam's water bottle hold when full? How many liters of water does Sam's water bottle? So remember the water bottle he's holding? 250 milliliters, right? So what's 250 milliliters in liters is the question. So you want to convert that 
into the liter. So you're going to put liter, liter on top. And how many millimeter is equal to a liter? Thousand. So you're going to cancel out milliliters. But well, you need to divide 250 by 1,000 in order to get a liter, which is 0 0.25 liters, or 1 over 4. Okay. All right, are you ready for the lesson? So we'll think about how we can use ratios to convert metric units of measure. Here is another chart. Okay, we got decameters, decameters, hectometers, that's comparatively um, less usual. But we got milliliters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers that we use a lot. Okay, let's look at example one, convert metric units of length. Amelia is helping her father build a skate ramp. They cut a board 1.2 meters long to use as the back of the ramp. Is the length of the board as shown in centimeters correct? Let's see. They cut a board 1.2 meters long to use the back of the lamp. So we want to see if 120 centimeters would be equivalent to 1.2 meters. Okay. So one way to do it, you're going to use a ratio and proportions. Another way, you're going to use dimensional analysis, which means you start with one, uh, one unit and then you're going to use the conversion factors 100 centimeter per meter in order to convert 1.2 meters into centimeters okay 120 centimeters 1.2 meter is 120 centimeters the board is the correct length 120 and 1.2 they're equivalent so we're just checking if it's correct yes it is correct Let's look at try question. The middle of the skate ramp is 2.5 meters wide. Amelia and her father want to use a board that is 23.5 decimeters long. Is this board wide enough for them to use? Convert the decimeters to meters to explain. So see if you can do it by yourself. See if you can convert it. And then see if it's enough. Back when you're ready for answer. All right, so what do we want to do? What do we want to convert? We want to convert 23.5 decimeters into meters because that's what her father is using. And we want to see if um, that is uh, if that is wide enough uh, for 2.5 meters. Right? So then if it's uh, less than 2.5, it's not wide enough. If, uh, if it's 2.5, then it is wide enough, okay? So let's see if they're wide enough. How many decimeters would be in the meter? Look at the conversion factor. Wait, yes. So decimeters would be dm. Decameter would be dam, okay? Just keep that in mind because they're very similar. 10 decimeters would be one meter. So you want to put decimeters in the, in the bottom. 10 decimeters is equivalent to one meter. So multiply um, meter one times 23.5 divided by 10. And that's going to be two 35 meters. So is 2.35 meters enough for 2.5? No, 2.35 is less than 2.5. So no, it's not enough. Okay, convince me. How can you convert 2.5 meters to decimeters to determine whether the board is wide enough? Right? What did you do? If you start from 
you're going to use the conversion factor 10 decimeter over one meter instead of one meter over 10 decimeters because what you want to cancel out the meter right meter divided by meter is one so 25 times 10 would be 250 decimeters okay that's oh uh, wait 2.5 sorry so that's going to be 25 decimeters okay so you're going to use the conversion this is the vocabulary word factor of 10 decimeters over one meter Okay, example two, convert metric units of capacity. So this is gonna be measurements of your volume. Um, we got milliliters and liters, hectoliter, deciliter, deciliters, centiliters, kiloliters, okay? So it's all comparable to liters. Um, Raggi poured 150 liters of water into an aquarium. How much more water does Raji need to fill the aquarium? He filled um, the aquarium with 2.2 hectoliters total capacity. Hectoliters would be HL over here. And notice that the liter is a capital L. Mm -hmm. Okay, one hectoliter would be 100 liters. So it's a bigger unit than just liter. So you can use the ratio one hectoliter over 100 liter will be equivalent to 2.2 hectoliter over how many liter and then you can figure out the factor multiply that to get 220 liters. Another way to use dimensional analysis you're going to start with 2.2 hectoliters and your conversion factor should have hectoliters on the denominator. So 100 liters per one hectoliter, multiply 2.2 times 100, and that is your liter, 220. The so Raji needs 70 more liters of water because he poured 150. So 220 minus 150 is 70 liters. Okay, so sometimes after you convert, you're not done, you have to subtract or add depending on the situation. Read the question carefully. All right, example three, convert metric units of mass. For mass, um, it's, it's talking about the weight. So we got milligrams, centigrams, decigrams, decagrams, hectograms, kilograms, um, all in comparison to grams. And grams are not going to be capital G, it's just small letter G. Okay. Lyle has a bowl that contains 0.8 kilogram of salt. He uses a spoon to remove 850 centigrams of salt. How much salt in centigrams remains? Okay. First, you're going to calculate the conversion rate of kilograms to centigrams. And one kilogram would be a hundred and thousand centigrams. So you're gonna convert 0 0.8 kilogram to centigrams, okay? Because there's no conversion factor that says how many centigrams would be one kilogram. So you need to use this one and this one to figure out how many centigrams would be one kilogram. Okay, so first find the conversion factor for a kilogram to centigrams, and there you go. And use that unit measure um, to figure out how many 0 0.8 kilogram would be centigrams. And in, uh, in the future, if you have a similar kind of problem, you might wanna use this conversion factor. So you can add another conversion factor here. One kilogram is equal to 100,000 centigrams, okay? You can, you can add your conversion factors and add to the chart, make your own chart. That would be very useful, okay? So seven, um, wait, 80,000 centigrams 
would be 0 0.8 kilograms. He um, uses a spoon to remove 850. So how many salt remains? 80,000 centigrams minus 850 would be 79,150 centigrams. So we still have a lot of salt left, but um, we have specifically 79,150 centigrams of salt remains in the bowl. Okay, let's look at try it. To make violet paint, Iris mixes 0.25 liter of red paint, 0.25 liter of blue paint, and 4.5 centiliters of white paint. How many centiliters of paint are in the mixture? So we want to figure out the centiliters for all the red, blue, and white paints. And then we want to add them up because we want to find the total weight of paint in the mixture, right? So convert all of them into centiliters. Uh, wait, this is already in centiliters, right? So 4.5 centiliters of white paint, that's fine. What is 0.5 liter in centiliters and 0.25 liters in centimeters is a question. Do we have a conversion for, our, for liters to centiliters? Yes, 100 centiliters is one liter. So you don't have to convert to get a conversion factor. Okay, so um, you're going to use 100 centiliter is equal to one liter capital L. And so 0 0.25 liter times one liter, wait, 100 centiliter over one liter. And then you multiply 100 to get 25 centiliter. And then 0 0.25 liter. Oh, that's the same thing. So that's also 25 centiliter, right? So then, what do you do? 25 centiliter plus 25 centiliter plus 4.5 centiliter. You might think, oh, did I do something wrong? Because 25 is a lot bigger than 4.5. That's fine. She just put just a little bit of white paint and she put a lot of red and blue paint, okay? 25 plus 25 plus 4.5 is 50 plus 4.5, which is 54.5 centiliters. And that is um, the total amount of centiliters of paint in the mixture. Okay, all right, I think that's it. So in this lesson, we learned how to convert metric units. Um, in the next lesson, we'll be able to wrap up our topic. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.